and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm back. A wonderful photographic right track. back where I started this insane week. And nobody is going to hurt Chloe ever again. Portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Who cares? This class is hella bullshit. I'll pretend you didn't say that and let you try to answer one more. Sorry, there's no time left. I mean, your class is almost over. Oh. Well. Thanks for the warning, Max. So, the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. Clearly, Max doesn't have the, uh, time. <laughs> and guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Time Hero. to change time. First, let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. I hope I still love photography when this is done. Don't confuse the art with the artist. Bastard. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. Did you know someday your pictures would actually alter time and space? This diary literally saved my life. I've got a ton of Blackwell brochures, so I hope David's number is in there. I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. found you.
For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. The 90s are over for you, asshole. If only I could tell the whole class about Jefferson and watch him squirm. But I better let David take care of everything. Not impressed anymore. Victoria. It's nice to know how you really feel. I'm happy to fix it, so you'll be here to get your fancy camera, Victoria. Poor Kate. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed. For the first time this week, I... I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. This is the last time somebody bullies you, Kate. Oh, Rachel. I'm sorry. I can't blame the cameras, but I just think of Jefferson using them. Now I wonder how many victims Jefferson has left behind in his career. Just a week ago, I was so naive about... I can't go past these photo boundaries, so... I need to fix everything from here. An everyday hero is going to bust your ass, Jefferson. There's still some beauty left in Arcadia Bay. I still feel like the lighthouse is calling out to me. I'd like to bust this up right now. Victoria, I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. I see right through your bullshit, Jefferson. Everybody else will too. Mr. Jefferson? 
We need to talk. Uh, Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody, to destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell. The, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Uh, well, thanks for the photo. And maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. 